To watch these important lessons, subscribe to DP Education's YouTube channel right now. Click on the bell icon to stay updated on the latest lessons. Sri Lanka's largest free online school, DP Education. So my dear children, in the earlier chapter, we discussed several things regarding the biosphere lesson. And my dear children, uh, we finished the lesson part, uh, the all, all theoretical uh, parts related to the lesson. Then my dear children, we discussed the questions given in your textbook. Okay, and we have written all the answers for the questions given in your textbook. So now it's time to write down some answers for the extra questions given related to the biosphere lesson right now let's see what are the questions given in here then as usual you are given with simple questions now here these things are mcq type questions so you have to choose the most accurate answer in these questions my dear children okay so the first one a group of similar organisms who can interbreed naturally to fertile offsprings are called as so, group of similar organisms who can interbreed naturally to fertile offsprings. So, it's very simple my dear children. Here, they are asking that what are what kind of an organ, uh, type of an organism who can interbreed naturally to fertile offsprings. That means, this is calling about. Now, here it is given, here it is given as similar group of similar organisms group of similar organisms that means some number of organisms that belong to the same species right ah, now from that sentence you can get the idea that this thing is referring to a species so a group of similar organisms who can interbreed naturally to fertile or springs are called as species species next one a community is Individuals with similar characteristics, group of organisms living in the environment, number of populations living in an area showing interrelationships, number of organisms belong to a particular species. So number of organisms belong to a particular species means a population. Individuals with similar characteristics, incorrect. Once again, I, uh, that's going to reflect about a population, right? Then. Uh, a group of organisms living in the environment a group of so yeah they're mentioning just just a one group so a community means my dear children several groups several groups of organisms living in a particular area okay that show relationship between different different uh, organisms okay so such a thing is the one which is referred as a community so a number of populations number of populations living in an area showing interrelationships this is our answer right next one sum of all ecosystems on earth is known as very simple my dear children the summation of all ecosystems in our planet earth is the one which is referred as the biosphere right so biosphere Next one, biosphere is all the population in an area together with the abiotic environment, all ecosystems on the earth together, all organisms who depend on producers directly or indirectly, number of organisms belong to a particular species. So this is somewhat related to the previous question my dear children. So like I said, biosphere means the sum of all ecosystems in our planet earth right so therefore biosphere is very simple this is the reverse of that one so all ecosystems on earth together can be referred to as the biosphere okay next one nitrogen is present in bodies of animals as so nitrogen is pr present in bodies of animals mainly as proteins my dear children so protein is a good example for a nitrogen based compound and the other thing is amino acids like DNA and RNA. Okay. So let's see the answers. Protein and carbohydrates. Protein is correct, but in carbohydrates, there is only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, right? Amino acid and protein. Yes, that should be our answer. Amino acid and protein. 
So within amino acid and protein, we can observe these nitrogen compounds. Next one. This is not a method of releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Not a method of releasing carbon dioxide. Combustion, respiration, photosynthesis, burning of fossil fuel. So during combustion, you already know that it is correct, my dear children, because in any kind of a combustion, the main product which is getting created is the carbon dioxide. Okay. So during combustion, definitely carbon dioxide is going to release. Next one, respiration. Once again, correct, right? During the respiration, you know that oxygen is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released. So that is also true. Third one, photosynthesis. Ah, photosynthesis is the answer, my dear children, because you know that during photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is absorbed and oxygen is getting released. Okay. So photosynthesis should be the answer. Over there, carbon dioxide is not getting expelled to the environment. Next one. The process which atmospheric nitrogen is converted to nitrate during industrial production of chemical fertilizers is lightning, deforestation, greenhouse effect, industrial fixation. So the process which atmospheric nitrogen is converted to nitrate during industrial production of chemical fertilizer. Very simple my dear children. It is mentioned in that industrial production of chemical fertilizer. So during that nitrogen is getting converted to nitrate. So lightning that is the atmospheric fixation. So deforestation not related to this thing actually. Greenhouse effect once again not related. So our answer should be industrial fixation. Next one, air pollution directly affects our respiratory system and causes several diseases. Leukemia and bronchitis is incorrect. Leukemia is not a disease related to the respiratory system, right? Hemophilia and pneumonia, once again incorrect. Bronchitis is and asthma, amoebiasis and heart attacks. So you know that heart attacks are totally incorrect. So our answer should be bronchitis is and asthma. Okay. So bronchial uh, inflammation. This is what do you mean by uh, bronchitis? Is. So bronchioles. These things are getting inflammated. Okay. Or these things well within the lungs, right? In bronchitis, is, my dear children. So it is respiratory system related disease and asthma i think you have already know about the asthma right okay so that is also related to the respiratory tract right then the next one uh, the greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide and methane oxygen and sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide ammonia and methane so my dear children greenhouse gases so the two obvious greenhouse gases that can be observed within right these given answers are carbon dioxide and methane right oxygen is not a one carbon monoxide is not a one and the other one ammonia is also not a uh, greenhouse gas so our answer should be carbon dioxide and methane the two types of greenhouse gases according to the given answers Next one, the metals present in water cause pollution. The highly toxic metal is copper, iron, mercury, sodium. So metals present in water cause pollution. Highly toxic metal. So out of these, the highly toxic metal is my dear children, mercury. Because I think you have heard about the term called mercury poisoning. So the mercury has the ability to poison our bloodstreams and even to fail our organs as well like kidney and liver. So mercury is the most poisonous substance out of the given responses here. Okay, right. The metals that may cause serious damage to liver and kidney due to pollution of water. Metals that cause serious damage to liver and kidney. Okay, due to pollution of water. Lead and zinc, arsenic and mercury, 
copper and aluminium cadmium and nickel so my dear children you know that arsenic is a heavy metal contained heavily within agrochemicals and also in some okay in some uh, ele uh, electronic waste and mercury is also found within both of these substances and sometimes in uh, some cosmetics uh, cosmetic items and uh, broken thermometers and high uh, broken uh, uh, hydrometers and so on okay right so uh, especially these things and sometimes even in uh, uh, you know at, uh, to measure our atmospheric pressure we use barometers no so in barometers also we sometimes we can observe broken barometers also we can so sometimes observe mercury so mercury is like can you remember when we are doing the previous question i told you that mercury is really poisonous to our uh, body organs especially for the liver and kidney okay so mercury is a quite obvious answer right so here let's see the other ones lead and zinc arsenic and mercury copper and aluminium cadmium and nickel okay so out of the given answers my dear children you plenty know about about mercury okay however the other things you are not that much familiar with right so therefore you the one which you know go for that answer right it's very simple so our answer should be arsenic and mercury actually arsenic arsenic is also pretty much harmful substance very poisonous substance okay arsenic so my dear children answer for this question should be arsenic and mercury okay next one if the number of deer that lived in the vilpattu sanctuary was about 515 in the year 1955 which term given below would best describe that flock of deer ecosystem community population species so number of deer that lived within the vilpattu sanctuary about 550 in year 1955 so they are mentioning a specific location a specific time period and a count so my dear children specific region or else a location a specific time period with a count so this is going to reflect about a population so population means within a certain location within a given time period number of similar species which is going to live within that area okay so this is the answer population next one question number 13 this is not a method to control water pollution not a method to control water pollution okay now let's see avoid throwing decaying vegetables fruits plastic waste food materials into open drains so now we are avoiding throwing garbage into open drains by that way we can avoid or we can minimize the water pollution so this is correct my dear children no problem in here this is correct next one plants like water hyacinth that means echinacea cassiphase so th these like plants should be grown in large ponds so you know that growing uh you 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 know that growing plants like uh, aquatic plants are somewhat okay i mean like there should be some uh, aquatic plants which should be grown within the uh, ponds okay so therefore it's okay to grow like aquatic plants however there can be some inv uh, invasive plants my dear children this is not an uh, invasive plant okay so it's very important to grow aquatic plants without the invasive plants okay right so this is also correct we can take it this thing this thing as a correct one next one releasing industrial effluents to the environment releasing industrial effluents to the environment so this is incorrect my dear children if you release industrial effluents to the environment definitely water will get polluted right especially if you release these industrial effluents to the environment ground water is the one which is getting polluted so therefore this is not a method right this is not a method to control water pollution final one instead instead of chemical fertilizer and insecticides the use of a natural substitute should be promoted this is that is absolutely true my dear children 
by that way you can minimize the water pollution especially surface water and ground water okay you know that plenty of water uh, surface water resources like tanks and uh, rivers are getting polluted mainly because of the agrochemicals because these agrochemicals will go into float and get collected or accumulated within these water sources so water is getting polluted over there heavily right so this is also a good method to minimize the water uh, minimize the water pollution okay right the elements contained in polythene are elements contained in polythene so this is a very simple question my dear children can you remember when we are discussing about the previous lesson lesson number 14 we discussed polythene is made by polymerization of ethene ethene contains hydrogen and carbon mainly so that is even why when burning polythene special gases like dioxin can emit okay so our answer should be carbon and hydrogen polythene contains carbon and hydrogen next one special property of natural flavoring it is the most reactive part minimize allergies improve the color and taste above all so special property of natural flavorings if you take a natural flavor in my dear children it has the ability to minimize allergies that is correct and these uh, natural flavorings are the ones or oh, these are the most reactive part of a certain food item or else of a certain uh, kind of a thing which is being added to the food item okay so it is correct improve the color and taste once again correct no that is why we add flavorings no so all of these things are correct my dear children next question biological fixation is conversion of ammonia into nitrate conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into ammonium ions conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrites conversion of nitrates into atmospheric nitrogen so biological fixation biological fixation means my dear children here bacteria like rhizobium is going to absorb or is going to take atmospheric nitrogen and going to convert these things into ammonium ions so this is what do you mean by the biological fixation so biological fixation is conversion of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonium ions okay right then the question number 17 one of the liquid particulate matter accumulated in air is liquid particulate matter okay it's it should be a liquid zinc you know that zinc is a metal right so definitely right it is a metallic substance and uh, available as a solid uh, available as a solid in room temperature so therefore zinc is incorrect mercury it is also a metal but available as a liquid in room temperature okay so that should be our answer but we'll see the other ones as well asbestos particles it is not a liquid my dear children right and also copper not a liquid so our answer should be mercury right next one singharaja forest is an example for community population ecosystem individual so if you take the singharaja forest singharaja forest within there we can observe abiotic and biotic uh, abiotic and biotic, thing, biotic things both biotic things are plants and animals abiotic things rocks water sand and so soil and so on okay so abiotics biotic thing both getting interacted within singharaja forest so therefore my dear children this is an ecosystem so answer should be ecosystem next one population density depends on death count births count immigrations all the above so population density is going to depend on for sure 
the death and uh, the ones who are going to uh, ones who are going to get born okay within a certain population so therefore both the things death count birth count are correct then immigrations that is also correct no those are the organisms right those are the organisms which are getting immigrate from a certain population so therefore that is also correct my dear children when compare when you are con getting a certain population so all of these three will depend all of these three are factors that determines the population density okay right then the next one question number 20 type of microorganism living in root nodules of some plants type of microorganism living in root nodules of some plants bacteria fungi algae rhizobium so actually type of microorganism living in root nodules of some plants so there are two different answers over here bacteria and rhizobium both are correct right because rhizobium is a type of bacteria no? so what should be our answer so you have to use choose the most accurate answer over here okay so the type of bacteria which is living within the root nodules of some plants is rhizobium so it's a type of bacteria we know that but however as it is specifically given as rhizobium go for the answer rhizobium okay right next one false statement about greenhouse effect false statement now the greenhouse effect my dear children so i think you know already know about the greenhouse effect if you take the greenhouse effect this function or this greenhouse effect is going to mainly create because of emission of greenhouse gases so greenhouse gases are the gases that can absorb solar radiation and can revert it back or can reflect it back to the earth's surface okay so therefore these gases are called to as greenhouse gases it is same as to a greenhouse now uh, the areas or countries where uh, sunlight is not being received that uh, in that much of an extent they build special kind of structures which are referred to as greenhouses so within green greenhouses the solar radiation or sunlight is getting reflected back and forth right so this is the process which is referred to as the greenhouse effect so by through the reflection of back and forth of solar radiation within a certain premises the temperature necessary temperature related to the growth of plant and an optimum temperature level is maintained so by that way plants are create, plants are going to have a favorable environmental conditions in in order to uh, grow in order for in, uh, in order to show the growth well okay and uh, therefore my dear children greenhouse effect is a very important effect the same process is carried out in our planet earth as well by the greenhouse gases and it is going to it is going to help in maintaining a proper environmental temperature within our environment or within our planet earth so this is an important thing even though it is important my dear children right the effect is right if the effect if this greenhouse effect is going to be high or uh, if the effect is carried out f uh, carried out in too much ex extent i mean like if the uh, if the radiation if the radiation is reflected back and forth in a greater extent then my dear children what will happen then the temperature on that surface will increase furthermore and because of that right and because of that what will happen because of that my dear children the planet or the surface will overheat okay so this will create different serve conditions it's not a good thing so therefore greenhouse effect is a good and a better a better it is a useful effect which is help to keep optimum temperature in our planet earth but but however if the effect is happening too much 
then we won't be able to survive also because the global warming is going to increase or the global temperature is going to increase. Okay. Now let's see what are the things given then. It is a very dangerous effect. You have to select the false one. Huh? It is a very dangerous effect. Industrialization has increased the greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is important to keep a good climate. Carbon dioxide increases the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. So the final one is totally correct. No problem at all. Greenhouse effect is important to keep a good, good climate. Like I said, right? Before I'm going to start the question, I gave you a simple uh, description. Okay, I gave you a simple uh, brief about the greenhouse effect. So it is correct. I told you that to maintain a good, good climate, greenhouse effect is important. So this is correct. Industrialization has increased the greenhouse effect. Absolutely, that is correct. Industrialization has increased the greenhouse effect. That is why we are now suffering with global warming, right? So our incorrect answer should be, it's not a dangerous effect, right? They are mentioning that this is a very dangerous effect. If it is a very dangerous effect, then we have to avoid it, no? That means you have to completely stop it. If you completely stop the greenhouse effect, then we won't be able to survive, my dear children, because there is no favorable climate in planet Earth to live. Okay? It is a good effect, but there should be a limit for each and everything, right? Even for the levels of oxygen within our planet Earth should have a limit. You know that oxygen is one, one of the most favorable gases that we respire, right? However, there should be a limit. If the limit exceeds, then environment going to be in a trouble because the natural equilibrium is going to break down. That's the reason. Okay? Right. Very important greenhouse gas. Methane, ozone, CFC, sulfur dioxide very important greenhouse gas so this is very important first of all we'll eliminate the ones which are not important cfc not important at all no right chlorofluorocarbon then sulfur dioxide once again a toxic gas so not important at all so you are remain with two gases methane and ozone methane a biogas right so there are plenty of users biogas means we can burn this thing and you said you can be used as a fuel okay however they are mentioning it is as very important that means my dear children without this gas we won't be able to survive even so our answer is what should be our answer ozone why is that because ozone is a gas right that can trap or that can absorb harmful solar radiation so without ozone gas we won't be able to survive in our planet earth right plenty of solar radiation is getting absorbed by ozone so therefore ozone is a very important greenhouse gas next one gas emitted during volcanic eruptions sulfur dioxide ozone nitrogen carbon dioxide so gas emitted during volcanic eruptions so during volcanic eruptions right because you know that uh, when you take a certain volcano over the walls of vo volcano my dear children we can observe sulfur okay so therefore because of burning sulfur sulfur dioxide is the gas which is going to emit so our answer should be sulfur dioxide so2 sulfur dioxide so a gas which is emitted during the volcanic eruptions, right? Then the next one, pH range of normal rainwater is about, pH range of normal rainwater, okay? So normal rainwater, pH value of distilled water is exactly 7, no, that means neutral substance. Okay, distilled water means exactly 7. That's the usual way. However, okay, however, if you take normal rain water, my dear children, 
normal rain water is somewhat acidic can you remember we discussed that thing over there when we are discussing about the acid rain thing normal rain water is somewhat acidic but however due to increase of the acidity acid rains will occur so therefore normal rain water is somewhat acidic it's not neutral it's somewhat acidic so don't go for the neutral answer okay because my dear children different substances are getting dissolved within rain water when they are going to come down from the atmosphere so we won't be able to observe distilled water within rain so therefore my dear children right exactly we know that ph value of normal rain water is not uh, nearly up to 7 so 7 is incorrect so go for the answer that has a lesser value than 7 why is that it's because when you take a certain acid ph value of an acid is less than 7 however it should be not less than like uh, 1 or 2 okay 1 and 2 means very strong acids no so if so we won't be able to survive in that rain okay so therefore just go for an answer somewhat lesser than 7 so here it is given an answer a probable answer 6 okay 6 so 6 should be the answer my dear children for this thing right it is not exactly 6 okay this is not mentioning as exactly 6 here you have to choose the accurate somewhat accurate answer I'm not talking that always when rain comes the pH value is not going to be 6 my dear children right it's going to change however it's not 7 exactly and it is not even greater than 7 that means it is not basic right usually it is acidic and somewhat closer to the uh, you know neutral value however it is acidic weakly acidic okay so go for an answer that is somewhat closer to 7 but less than 7 okay not exactly 7 no greater than 7 or else uh, like somewhat related to like 0 and 1 and 2 range that is very strong okay this is just a weak acid okay so our answer should be 6 right next one question number 25 not a component of a paint not a component of a paint so paint has a binder which can bind the pigment and it has a pigment the coloring agent it has a vehicle to dissolve a certain i mean like to dissolve this substance so binder pigment and vehicle are the three main components contained within a paint the three main components so bleaching agent we won't be able to observe bleaching agents in paint so our answer should be bleaching agent right bleaching agent should be the answer it's not a component contained within a paint question number 26 ph range of acid rain water is about acid yeah, now we are talking about acid rain water my dear children okay ph range of acid rain water so ph rain of acid rain water is about 6 to 7 7 to 8 0 to 1, 2 to 3. So, acid rains. There are two possible answers, right? 0 to 1 is also acid. 2 to 3 is also acidic, right? So, you have to choose a correct and accurate answer. Both the things are correct. However, if you take like this much of acidity, then it is very huge. So, like I said, go on for, don't, don't go for very huge answers. Actually, in normal rainwater, right so normal acidic acidic acid rain water the ph value is near like 3 to 4 okay right maximum uh, like in a certain range for an uh, for a certain range we can say that it is like 3 to 5 okay 3 to 5 is the one which is more accurate actually it is not going beyond 2 my dear children okay so uh, this answer 0 to 1 answer is totally incorrect now in the earlier times in, during the ancient times I mean like at the beginning of our planet earth uh, over there there was acid rains like around 0 to 1 to 0 1 2 ranges okay because of the high amount of volcanic activities and due to emission of large, num large amount of 
uh, sulfur dioxide gas because of that volcanic activities in the earlier times i mean uh, this is i'm to i'm talking about the during the origin of our planet earth okay however nowadays my dear children we won't be able to observe even two to three kind of a, a ph value having a acid rain right so therefore don't go for, don't go for these kinds of answers and seven to eight once again incorrect no it is somewhat related to the neutral level right then six to seven somewhat once again incorrect this is normal rain water type six to seven so acid rain you have to select according to these responses you have to select two to three okay according to these responses my dear children okay now this might change huh? remember so like i said if you are given with a question like this don't go for neutral ones like seven five six five six seven range don't go for those ones if it is asking about acid rains okay select an answer which is not in a range from zero to three and five to seven that means you have to select an answer between three to five range two is also you know we can take up to a certain level right so i'll mention as two to five so within acid rain right if you have been asked to mention or if you have been asked to select an answer out of the mcqs right this is only for the mcqs right so out of the mcqs if you are See, uh, if you need to uh, select an answer for an acid rain, uh, go for an answer that is that has a value between 2 to 5. So, 2 to 3 should be our answer according to these responses. Next one. E number is given to indicate that, E number is given to indicate that food additive is not safe. Incorrect. E number is given to indicate that food additive is safe so b should be the answer right next one select the incorrect statement so you have to select the incorrect statement okay soap bubbles are formed less in dense water soap bubbles are formed less in dense water correct that is correct because you have seen that soaps are so different kinds of soaps are not getting create uh, not getting uh, you know these things are not creating a large amount of bubbles within dense water okay so it is correct no problem detergents undergo in natural dissolution this is totally incorrect my dear children can you remember we even discussed that detergents not undergo in natural dissolution they accumulate in certain surfaces they are for growth of algae and other uh, substances will get increased and sometimes swans of these detergents can be observed in some certain types of reservoirs okay can you remember right so therefore detergents undergoing natural dissolution is totally incorrect but we'll go for the others as well boric acid is an antiseptic correct right next one chlorine is a disinfectant once again correct that is why we add chlorine to water right okay so our answer should be B, detergents undergoing natural dissolution. That is the incorrect statement from these things. Next one, excess acidity in soil due to acid rain can be minimized by. Excess acidity in soil due to acid rain can be minimized. So we need to minimize the acidity in soil. Means we have to add a base over there. So select a base from this answer. Lime, correct, it is a base. Quick lime, once again correct, it is also a base. So, chemical formula for quick lime is calcium oxide, CaO. Adding ash, ash is also correct, no? That is also a basic substance. So, all of these ways can be used to minimize the acidity in soil my dear children i think you have even observed that sometimes farmers are adding lime and quick lime or ash into the soil before the cultivation that is to minimize the acidity in soil okay right so remember all of these things are bases right all of these things are bases 
right then the next one not a pollutant in dirty dozen dirty dozen ddt yes furan yes dioxin of course yes then carbon monoxide it's not a pollutant contained within the dirty dozen okay right next one chemical formula for ozone very simple my dear children so you know that ozone is a trimetric molecule of oxygen what do you mean by a trimetric molecule of oxygen so you know that ox ozone is a trimetric molecule of oxygen that means there are three oxygen atoms bonded together so the chemical formula for ozone is o3 my dear children not o2 huh? o2 means oxygen gas that is the gas that we respire so the answer should be ozone right answer should be uh, answer for chemical formula for ozone should be o3 not o2 okay right question number 32 correct statement so you have to select the correct statement over here okay choose the correct one sulfur dioxide is not a greenhouse gas okay we'll keep it because sulfur we know that for sure sulfur dioxide is going to create acid rains okay but however when we are uh, thinking about when we are thinking about the greenhouse effect so actually greenhouse effect usually we know that carbon dioxide is contributing for greenhouse effect and uh, water vapor and like that way there are so many oxides of nitrogen and like that way there are certain different things but however I think uh, you guys couldn't remember whether sulfur dioxide is a greenhouse gas or not. Okay, I know that. You'll just keep it. Okay, we don't need to find out the accuracy of each and every statement given here. No, we only need one. No? So we'll go for the other ones. If you don't know certain things, just keep it. Next one methane cause acid rain. Totally incorrect. We know that it is totally incorrect. Methane never going to create acid rain, my dear children. The two types of acid which is going to uh, fall down from atmospheric, atmospheric rain is nitric acid and sulfuric acid. The nitric acid is obtained from oxides of nitrogen. Then sulfuric acid from oxides of sulfur like sulfur trioxide and sulfur dioxide. Okay. So methane it's not contributing to create sulfuric acid or uh, nitric acid so therefore this answer is totally incorrect next one chromium is used as a pigment in paints the chrome color can you remember in some sometimes uh, in bathware items like shower heads shower panels then uh, you know uh, beep taps then normal over taps right like that way in these things we often use a special kind of a shiny silver color nature right or shiny silver colored uh, material right so this is very shiny than the silver this is chromium my dear children the chrome color so to get chrome chrome color we can actually apply chromium pigment so therefore this answer is totally correct you have to select the correct statement no Copper is not a heavy metal. Copper is a heavy metal. Even we studied under that, uh, studied about copper uh, within the co heavy metals, my dear children, that a copper is a heavy metal. Copper, zinc, both the things are heavy metals. So this is also incorrect. Sulfur, di sulfur dioxide is not a greenhouse gas. Actually, sulfur dioxide is a greenhouse gas. So this is also incorrect. So all of these three are incorrect. The correct one is what? Chromium is used as a pigment in paints. Remember, sulfur dioxide is also causing acid rains and also causing greenhouse effect. It is a greenhouse gas and as well as a gas that can create acid rain. Okay. Both the things can be observed within sulfur dioxide. That is why it is said to be as a very dangerous and a toxic substance. Okay. Sulfur dioxide. Next one. Solid particulate pollutant, solid, huh? carbon particles, correct, dust, correct, ash, once again correct. So all of these things are solid particulate pollutants. Next one, direct effect of environment pollution. So direct effect, okay. 
loss of habitat of organisms so because of environment pollution loss of habitat is going to happen but it is not a direct one it is an indirect one right because of environment pollution the forest cover and the, all the other things are getting destroyed and because of that the environment uh, habitat of habitats of organisms are getting destroyed so it is correct but however indirectly okay Desert, desertification once again correct but however again indirect right desertification next one reducing biodiversity once again correct no because of losing habitats organisms or animals will die so therefore reduction in biodiversity is also correct but however indirect but my dear children global warming this is a serve condition which is getting created because of the environment pollution and it is a direct effect of environment pollution next one collection of toxic substances from trophic level to trophic level is called so collection of toxic substances from trophic level to trophic level so one trophy from one trophic level to another trophic level collection of toxic substances is referred to as biomagnification can you remember over there like heavy metals heavy metals uh, kind of particles are getting accumulated from one trophic level to another trophic level along food chains this is the one which is referred to as the biomagnification so within biomagnification my dear children smaller organisms will get very less amount of these particles toxic toxic particles however when these things are traveling along the food chains when the size of the organism is going to increase or at the last final level of the uh, food chain my dear children these things accumulated in heavy amounts and get affected within the final chains okay so therefore biomagnification should be our answer 35 right question number 35 collection of toxic substances from trophic level to trophic level is called biomagnification next one a contagious disease contagious so contagious means it is getting contracted from one person to another like common cold okay then uh, sometimes uh, you know uh, some diseases like bacteria and virus based diseases like dengue then uh, leprosy then uh, uh, you know aids so those kinds of diseases are considered as contagious diseases that means getting contracted from one person to another okay so cancer incorrect that is an uncontagious disease ckd once again incorrect diabetes once again incorrect all of these three are non-contagious diseases means that my dear children diabetes is not going to pass from one person to another same as ckd same as what this cancer so all of these things are not contagious diseases so our answer should be none of the above there are no suitable answer no? next one water catchment area of a tank is called vav taul vav ismat isveti bisokotua so this is not a major part contained within a tank but however the water catchment area of a tank is very important so this is called as the vav ismat okay vav taul is the area that is parallel to the water level which has flora right and which has a rich biodiversity right okay next one true statement about natural flavorings increase the probability of getting ckd you so you have to select the true statement okay about the natural flavorings increase the probability of getting ckd totally incorrect actually these natural flavorings are going to decrease disease decrease the probability of getting certain diseases not to increase decrease the appetite for food once again incorrect no appetite for food is getting increased by these natural flavorings has antibacterial properties one and now this one is correct it has antibacterial properties right that is why even when using these natural flavorings some allergy conditions can be minimized okay so this is correct no problem and sometimes food poisoning that is also can be minimized when using natural flavorings 
So this is correct. Carcinogenic, totally incorrect, right? It's not causing cancers. Carcinogenic means, my dear children, cancer causative. So it is not cancer causative, okay? Next one. A gas that contribute for ozone layer depletion. Ozone layer depletion, okay? So this is asking about ozone layer depletion, huh? not about global warming or any other acid rain or any other, right? So carbon dioxide is incorrect. It can't contribute for ozone layer depletion. Nitrogen incorrect. Hydrogen once again incorrect. Chlorofluorocarbon, ah, that should be our answer. It has the ability to contribute contributing ozone layer depletion, right? Next one, the human population growth curve is still in decelerating phase, stabilized phase, exponential phase, lag phase. Actually, we have passed the lag phase now. Now we are at this phase where the uh, population is keep getting increased dramatically. So we are at the exponential phase, my dear children. So human population growth curve is at the exponential phase. That is why even the shape, uh, the shape of the human growth population curve takes a J, color, J letter shape, okay? Because we are at the exponential phase. Next one, the sequence of energy and materials flow from producer to consumers is the, the sequence of energy and materials flow. So energy flow and material flow is shown by food web, food chain, ecological pyramids, none of the above. So, so the sequence of energy and material flow from producer to consumer is shown by food chains, my dear children, right? From a food chain. Relationship between different, different organisms for their food items is shown by food webs. So the energy flow in, and the material flow is directly indicated by the food chains. Okay, right then. Select the incorrect answer about ecological pyramids. So you have to select the incorrect answer. Right, in, you have to select the incorrect answer about the ecological pyramids. So there are three types of pyramids, my dear children, ecological pyramids. I think you have already know about these things so let me give you out a simple reminder about these ecological pyramids number one is number pyramid number pyramid means my dear children we take a certain number right and that means account so from trophic level to trophic level we are representing we are representing the count of organisms right so starting from the producer upward we are going to represent the count so, as we are mentioning the count over here, right, these number pyramids can be inverted or else upright. Both the things can be taken. For a certain example, let's take an example like this. Grass, grasshopper, then uh, we'll take another animal like rat. Gra grass, grasshopper and rat. So within one square meter of an area, there is like hundreds, hundred plants of grass. So the count at the producer level, hundred. Within this one square meter, like twenty or uh, fifteen kinds of grasshoppers can be observed. So fifteen. Okay. Then within this one square meter of an area, rats only two of, can be observed. So two. 100, 15, 2, pyramid, number pyramid. Another number, so it is an upright pyramid, right? Base is, base is having a get a surface area. When moving from, uh, when moving top, you can observe that the count or the area is gradually reducing. 100, 15, 2, okay? So it is an upright number pyramid. Another example, can you remember when we are discussing about number pyramid, we took an example regarding a coconut tree. So one coconut tree, 10 coconut beetles living on that. 
So 10 coconut beetles, the pr primary consumers. On that coconut be beetles, different kinds of parasites are living now on coconut beetles. So there are like there can be like hundreds of smaller beings living within the bodies of these coconut beetles. So one, ten, hundred. See, it is an inverted one then. Number pyramids can be inverted or upright. Then the second one, my dear children, biomass pyramid. Now here we are, we are, we are going to take certain trophic level and within this trophic level, we are going to count the entire amount of, or we are going to calculate the entire mass of organisms, entire mass of producers, right? How much is the entire mass of producers in kilograms or grams living within a certain year or a certain time period? living within a certain or unit area okay then my dear children the next level okay the next level is what Pri after the primary producers then primary consumers like uh, for an example herbivore animals depending on the plants so we calculate all the masses of them and we're going to represent it like that way to the next level carnivore animals who is going to feed on that omnivore who is going to feed on that herbivore animals right okay so herbivore animals are the primary consumers then my dear children the next one secondary consumers carnivore animals so we get the count and we get the entire mass of it biomass pyramid usually biomass pyramids should be should be okay they must be when you take terrestrial environments definitely for sure these biomass pyramids are upright because if the biomass of the uh, consumers are going to increase than the producers then it's going to be a trouble no however my dear children rarely very rarely within the aquatic environments it can be inverted so, this biomass pyramids also have the ability to create inverted pyramids. However, very rarely, okay? Then the third one and the final one, energy pyramids. Energy pyramids are always upright. Why is that? Because when passing energy from one trophic level to another, 90% of energy is getting dissipated to the environment. So, therefore, only 10% is getting passed from one trophic level to the other trophic level. So, always, always, each and every time, energy pyramids are upright. Ah, now, let's go for the answers then. Number pyramids can be inverted, correct. Within the explanation, we discussed that thing, no. Number pyramids are always upright. That is totally incorrect. Number pyramids can be inverted or upright energy pyramids are always upright that is absolutely true no problem biomass pyramids can rarely be inverted that is also true so our correct answer should be in uh, b number pyramids are always upright it's not always upright it can be inverted or upright next one select the correct answer about ecological pyramids Correct answer about the ecological pyramids. Let's see. Shorter food chains are not efficient. Incorrect. Shorter food chains are much efficient. Like I said, when you take when you take the energy pyramids, my dear children. When take when you are taking an energy pyramid from one trophic level to another trophic level, only 10% of energy is getting transmitted. Tra transmitted no. So, shorter the uh, levels or trophic levels, more efficient the food chain. Okay, next one. Energy pyramid is the only upright pyramid. Energy pyramid is the only upright pyramid. What can you say about that one? Energy pyramid is the only upright pyramid. That is absolutely true. Like, can you remember over here we discussed that energy pyramids are always upright. So, energy pyramid is the only upright pyramid. Why is that? 
because in here it is given biomass pyramids can really be inverted even we discussed that thing number pyramids are can be inverted can be upright both however energy are always energy pyramids are always upright ecological pyramids show relationship between ecosystems right ecological pyramids show relationships between ecosystems that is also correct unit of biomass pyramid is kilograms so unit of biomass pyramid is kilograms that is incorrect my dear children right it is not kilograms it is not kilograms no when you take biomass within a certain time period should be specified and within a certain area that means area should also be specified it's not just kilograms kilograms per square meter per year right so there are two answers in this case my dear children see ecological pyramid show relationships between ecosystems right ecological pyramid is actually showing some kind of a relationship between ecosystems okay so that is also up to certain extent true up to certain extent true but the thing is that my dear children once again read it ecological pyramids show relationships between ecosystems relationship between ecosystems that's the problem over here the ecosystems right actually it is going to show show some relationship but not between the ecosystems right it is somewhat correct somewhat correct okay but however not accurate so therefore my dear children i'm not going to put any kind of a cross or tick in here because up to a certain level it is going to show some kind of relationship between ecosystems can be taken okay however not that much accurate as they are mentioning about between ecosystems here so our most accurate answer so you have to select only one no really there can be two or more answers okay really so out of the given answers from here you have to select the most accurate one so my dear children the most accurate one for the given answer uh, for the given question over here is energy pyramid is the only upright pyramid that is the most accurate answer okay right question number 44 then not a cause for renal failure not a cause for renal failure okay high blood pressure consumption of liquor calcula in bladder heart attacks high blood pressure yes consumption of liquor of course yes calcula in bladder once again yes therefore d heart attacks it's not a cause it's not a major cause for renal failure right then the next question uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body is called as very simple my dear children uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body uncontrolled division that means over mutated division right over mutated cells are going to divide and divide and uh, to grow like a what like a cancer so it is not a stroke not a heart attack not a tissue failure right but it is a cancer uncontrolled cells if dividing and getting multiplied within a cell right that means if these cells are mutated and getting divided and getting multiplied within the whole, uh, within our body then that kind of a situation is referred to as a cancer okay next one select the incorrect statement regarding a tank tank bond had been constructed of several soil layers to increase the robustness correct totally correct right no problem bisokotua is also a part of the sluice it means the rectangular space made of stones once again correct right no problem a brink is sweaty is built to avoid collecting water with eroded mud sand gravel to the water tank head wall where we smart 
is the surrounding area parallel to the water is rich with natural habitats of flora totally incorrect right you know that brink or this is sweaty is built to avoid collecting water with eroded mud correct no problem fourth one head wall head wall is not the surrounding area parallel to the water right it is the area which is called as the wow thawl not wow ismat so head wall or the wow ismat it is the water catchment area my dear children so this is the incorrect statement regarding a tank okay next one local medical science relates with air bile and pressure air phlegm and bile bile air and sugar phlegm air and sugar so va pith kapha that means air phlegm and bile okay next one carbon footprint cannot be minimized by cannot be minimized cannot be minimized means my dear children we won't be able to minimize carbon footprint by using these methods okay that means cannot be minimized means if it can be minimized then the amount of carbon dioxide which is getting released to the environment should be less or none cannot means it means it is going to release carbon dioxide that is why it, uh, by using that particular method we can't reduce the carbon footprint so cannot be that means carbon should emit let's see burning of fossil fuel it is correct right we cannot minimize carbon footprint by burning fossil fuel because carbon dioxide is going to emit in heavy amounts burning plants and dead plant a dead animal matter once again correct no because plant and animal materials contain carbon upon burning carbon dioxide is getting exerted so we won't be able to reduce carbon footprint by using this method also because carbon dioxide is expelling next one burning lp gas once again correct no fossil fuel no so therefore definitely carbon dioxide is getting exerted so none of the above should be our answer there are no any method to reduce carbon footprint from out of these ones next one question number 49 use as many items right use as many items as possible again and again is called use as many items as possible again and again reduce reuse replace recycle simple many items as possible again and again that means my dear children over and over over and over we are using it it means reuse right very simple reusing next one a renewable energy source renewable energy source so what to is a renewable energy source then renewable energy source means it is an energy source my dear children which the energy is getting produced over the time and it's not getting exhausted when time is going to pass by i mean like within recent years it's not going to get exhausted so that kind of a source is referred as a renewable energy source so when you take a renewable energy source my dear children in they are, they are asking about energy source okay sun is a renewable energy source wind a renewable energy source flowing water a renewable energy source biomass renewable energy source sea waves so these things are renewable energy sources so you have to select renewable energy sources out of the given answers let's see solar energy they are asking about energy source not asking about energy okay energy and energy source are two different things don't get confused with that thing so most of the times you guys will uh, this is the answer solar energy renewable no however they are asking about the energy source my dear children read the question carefully before you are answering it it's very important to read out the question so solar energy is incorrect why is that because it is a renewable energy 
not an energy source. Energy source means a thing that is going to produce energy. Thing that is going to produce energy. Okay. The question should be, right? We have to select a source, not an energy. So our answer should be, my dear children, sun. Sun, not sunlight or solar energy, right? Fossil fuel is totally incorrect, no? So therefore, sun is the correct answer because energy source, asking about the energy source, not the energy type, okay? Right then. Incorrect statement. Montreal Protocol is to control gases which harm the ozone layer. Correct. Montreal Protocol is to control the gases which harm the ozone layer. That is correct. No problem. Kyoto Protocol is to minimize the emission of greenhouse gases. Once again, correct. Kyoto Protocol right, is followed to minimize the emission of greenhouse gases. No problem. Correct. Rainwater harvesting can be applied as an energy conservation measure. Correct. Right. Rainwater harvesting can be applied as an energy conservation method. Correct. No, no problem at all. We can use rainwater. We can collect it and we can apply it to, you know, our agricultural lands. So without using any other different kinds of energy sources, we will be able to utilize that water. So it is correct. No problem. Next one. Flow of energy among organisms is not essential to maintain the ecological balance. This is totally incorrect. Particles should definitely flow from one particular place to another, from one particular organism to another in order to maintain the ecological balance. Right? That is what do you mean by biogeochemical cycles, right? Even Within there also balance is maintained by the circulation of particles. So therefore, Flow of energy among organisms is not essential to maintain ecological balance. This is totally incorrect, my dear children. This is the incorrect statement. Right? All of these three are correct. No problem. Next one. Non-renewable energy source. Non-renewable. That means it don't have the ability to renew. Means within a short time period, it is getting exhausted and we won't be able to observe that energy for a long, long time, right? So, biomass, incorrect, no? Because plant and animal materials are going to survive within our earth till the earth is going to die. So, therefore, it is correct. Die means when the earth is going after, I mean like, where you know that the life is life on the earth. There is life on the earth, no? So, until the day the earth is going to last, the biomass is also going to last. So therefore, it is a renewable energy source. Next one. Fossil fuel. Uh, that is the answer, my dear children. Fossil fuel. Very simple, right? Because fossil fuel, you know that after like 100 or 150 years, with this rate, definitely fossil fuel will get uh, destroyed. Destroyed means exhausted. They will finished. Okay? Right. Then the next question, my dear children. Question number 53. Cataracts are created mainly due to acid rain, global warming, ozone layer depletion, biomagnification, cataract. So, cataracts are mainly created due to, my dear children, exposing to over radiation, especially radiation received from the sun. So, like ultraviolet radiation, ultraviolet radiation, when these ultraviolet radiation come in contact in over amounts with our eye and with our skin, okay? If they come in contact with uh, our uh, eye, my dear children, cataracts may create. And also, if they come in contact with our skin, skin cancers and other defects will create. So, why does the solar radiation come towards the earth? Because of ozone layer depletion ozone layer depletion is the main reason right for this thing so our answer should be ozone layer depletion you know that ozone 
trimetric gas of oxygen has the ability okay it is the one which has the ability to absorb harmful solar radiation so if it is getting depleted then this harmful solar radiation will come and hit on planet earth and if they come in contact with our eyes cataract can create okay next one inflammation and swelling in the lining of stomach is the very simple gastritis right inflammation and swelling in the lining of stomach due to acidity right due to acidity is the one which is referred to as the what gastritis it's very simple right next question then question number 55 eutrophicated reservoir will emit eutrophicated reservoir so what is eutrophication eutrophication means because of collection of large amount of algae within reservoirs and because of the excessive algae growth in reservoirs right what will happen competition for favorable com uh, favorable conditions or competition for food in simple right and other favorable conditions will get increase and overpopulated algae will die and this overpopulated died algae right will emit different kinds of harmful gases and you know very unpleasant gases to the environment because anaerobic bacteria come and act on these algae so therefore right bad odor is coming out and upon having large amount of algae the reservoir now is in green color right so like that way different and uh, the transparency of, of, of water is getting reduced and water cannot be utilized even so these are the complications or ill effects created because of the eutrophication and how does the eutrophication happens so the gases which is getting emitted over there are very uh, are having very unpleasant smell no so let's see what are those gases one gas is hydrogen sulfide okay it has a very pungent smell then second one is methane upon the decomposition of carbon based substances within algae methane is getting released and my dear children ammonia upon decomposition of nitrogen based compounds contained within algae and other organisms ammonia is getting released so all of these substances or all of these gases are getting emitted within a eutrophicated reservoir next one dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane is also called as i think you know this thing ddt right dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane right actually DDT is the one which is included in a dirty dozen, right? Like furan, so like and dioxin, a toxic substance, a pop, right? Persistent organic pollutant. Right then, question number fifty-seven. The oxides of nitrogen released due to combustion of fossil fuel and unburned hydrocarbons create oxides of okay. oxides of nitrogen released during combustion of fossil fuel and unburned hydrocarbons create photochemical smog acid rain ozone layer depletion all the above incidents oxides of nitrogen right oxides of nitrogen and unburned hydrocarbon which is released by the combustion of fossil fuel so these will create my dear children what photochemical smog okay photochemical smog next one highly toxic accumulate in the body of organisms spread widely in the environment are features of very simple my dear children being highly toxic accumulate in the body of organisms fat soluble spread widely in the environment are the features of what 
persistent organic pollutants or pops right persistent organic pollutants or pops right these are the features of pops that is why these things are very dangerous right then the next one select the correct statement some natural effects cause environment pollution some natural effects cause environment pollution correct there are some certain types of natural effects which is going to cause the environment pollution like volcanic eruptions large amount of sulfur dioxide gases is going to emit and other toxic gases are going to emit and over there right what will happen environment can pollute so therefore there are some certain types of natural effects which can cause the environment pollution next one acid rain is having a ph value less than 6 correct once again correct right acid rain is having a ph value less than 6 so usually normal rain water is even acidic so in normal rain water also we can observe uh, you know when you take the ph range we can observe like somewhat related to uh, 5 and 6 okay in normal rain my dear children in acid rain it is even less so it is correct no problem number three ozone layer depletion is causing skin diseases absolutely correct no in even in the previous question we discussed that thing so it is correct no problem so all of these things are correct statements all of these things are correct statements my dear children all with all of these things are correct no problem right okay then the next question question number 60 the final question regarding the mcq questions my dear children after that we'll be moving on to uh, questions the answering ones right let's say type ones so let's see what is the final one then here you have to select the incorrect statement let's see burning fossil fuel increases the carbon footprint correct no burning fossil fuel increases the carbon footprint what is that because my dear children fossil fuel is mainly composed with carbon so burning of carbon will create definitely carbon dioxide so the carbon footprint will increase it is correct higher the water footprint higher the sustainability totally incorrect if the water footprint is high then the sustainable development is less no it's not high okay because too much water is being now utilized you know that there is only about 0.01 percent of water which can be consumable so here water footprint means the amount of fresh water which is being use, utilized within a certain product or within a certain uh, service so in that case my dear children if too much of water footprint is there that means too much of water has been utilized so it is not sustainable right so it is incorrect so this should be our answer but we'll go for the other ones as well multiple cropping is a sustainable use totally correct no problem within the same land we are going to use several crops so therefore it is a good sustainable effect medicines and disinfectants use chemical substances correct no totally correct no problem at all okay medicines and disinfectants use chemical substances so our incorrect answer should be higher the water footprint higher the sustainability that is incorrect because sustainability is getting low my dear children okay or oh, sustainability is less right so we have answered 60 mcq questions my dear children okay i hope that you got a good idea about the mcq questions so remember mcq questions are somewhat tricky there can be like several answers which matches our uh, criteria but however you have to choose the most accurate answer out of the givens actually mcqs or mcq one ones are the difficult ones because answering answering ones are somewhat okay we can write some we can write down some answers no right we can write down somewhat closely related answers even right we can match and write down some kind of an answer within the uh, answering questions but however mcqs are somewhat tricky so you have to be very careful when choosing answers for the mcq questions okay right then so my dear children within that uh, within this chapter we have answered 60 mcq questions 60 extra questions related to the biosphere lesson in the next chapter we'll follow on with other different kinds of different types of questions okay uh, so in the next chapter i'll be focusing about mainly 
answering questions within our uh, next chapter related to the extra questions to watch these important lessons subscribe to dp education's youtube channel right now click on the bell icon to stay updated on the latest lessons sri lanka's largest free online school dp education